Populus deltoides is the eastern cottonwood. This is also a native plant to Oklahoma, one of the larger native plants. It has very fast growth rate, um, reaching uh, almost 100 feet tall and not quite as wide. It has this sort of oval canopy, so not quite the width as the height. Um, the leaves are kind of shiny, so you'll usually see some reflection from this plant when you view it from a distance. It's got a really sort of distinctive um, reflectivity quality. Um, the leaf is triangular sh shaped, um, generally. The name deltoides, um, delta, is a triangle, and oides means similar. So it's similar to a triangle. You have kind of very rough toothed edges and then tapering to a point. This long petiole um, is kind of flattened in it and the, the leaves are stiff so when the the plant sort of the leaf sort of twists and moves in the wind and then the leaves knock into each other um, it's actually related to the quaking aspen of the mountains and so you have some of that quaking sound that comes from the eastern cottonwood. The plant um, is a large canopy plant, so it grows best in full sun. And um, this sort of shiny leaf with the fall color being yellow. The stems on the eastern cottonwood are fairly stout. Um, they start out kind of, kind of a, a, a greenish tan and then mature to kind of a light brown or a tan. Eventual uh, grayish tan color and then the bark, the mature bark, on the trunk uh, forms very deep, um, kind of an ashy gray, deep furrows. The wood is actually kind of soft. The tree grows really fast, um, and, and not all fast-growing trees have very soft wood, but this has very soft wood. You get ice damage, um, wind damage, and uh, a lot of decay in the plant. So in really old plants, you'll see some branches missing or some branches damaged. Um, it's not a particularly long-lived plant, so 30 to 40 years may be the, really the maximum that, it, it, that its lifespan would be. Plus, it has very, very um, uh, aggressive roots, so if you have any kind of drainage pipes around, um, the eastern cottonwood would, would be trying to uh, get the roots inside the pipes. The plant is dioecious, which means that you have the female flowers, the male flowers, on separate plants. So you have these catkins, which are really just drooping clusters of flowers. And um, if, if it happens to be a female flower, then it would develop these seed pods with these cottony seeds. Um, they can actually be really prolific. So um, I'm sure you've probably seen these trees with cotton, what looks like cotton all around them on the ground. That would be a female tree with the cottony seeds um, produced. The cultivated varieties of this plant are generally male because if you were going to use it in a landscape setting, you'd like to be able to avoid having the, the cottony seeds everywhere. It's native along rivers and bottomlands, so it really does appreciate some supplemental water in the summer in our area.